Hey creators, my name is Marco and I'm a product manager at Appit.com. Appit is a social network around the games that you create by using our latest models. And today I'm super excited to demo you how to use our newest uh, reasoning and planning model that we call Maximus 200K Pro. Um, how do you do it? So let's head to create a new game uh, on our create page. And if you're an approved creator, you will have this option to create a new game. For the sake of this demo, we will use a 2D mode. And here we have Ava, our assistant, that will guide us and help us out to make this game. Uh, note that you can either type your prompt here or you can also record a voice note. And a little tip for you, if you click on this icon here that says beta, uh, you will switch our models. And uh, at the moment we want to use Maximus 200K Pro, but there are also other models like Nexus family that are very fast, but maybe not so great. Um, Optimus family, very old one, and also and our best models, Maximus. And I will switch to Maximus 200K Pro because this is our reasoning model. And I want to show you its capabilities today. So I'm going to record a very simple prompt and uh, let's see how it uh, goes. Hey, Ava, I want you to create a single player game where the player controls the pedal at the bottom of the screen to bounce a ball upwards. The objective is to use the ball to break all the colored bricks arranged at the top of the screen without letting the ball fall past the pedal. So as you can see, Ava correctly um, transcribed what I said and is now proceeding into creating a game design document. So this is exactly the planning phase that I was describing before. And as you can see, it generated a title, gave a long description, um, some game flows, hashtags, and is asking us, are we happy with this or do we want to polish? If you're happy, let's create this game. So simply clicking on create game, you will now see the process where Ava is writing the game source code. And you can see this in real time uh, streaming in this um, code editor. And on the right side at the moment, of course, it's just empty blank screen, but soon we should be able to see the first output of um, Ava creating this game. And here we are, we have our game. Um, so as you can see, I can launch the ball, it bounces off the walls, I can move it left or right, the ball bounces and destroys the bricks on top. This is exactly what we wanted. Now, of course, as you can see, there is a lot of room for improvement. Uh, namely, let's uh, make uh, the changes around the sizing. Um, so I will instruct Ava to try to make the pedal bigger, the ball bigger, and uh, probably all these uh, bricks. Hey Ava, this is excellent. Now make the pedal and the ball three times bigger and uh, as and uh, make the bricks bigger as well, but also remove the amount of them by half. So this is quite a complex prompt. Uh, let's see how Ava handles it because it needs to do three things, basically to make the pedal bigger, to make the ball bigger, and then to reduce the amount of bricks, but make them bigger. So as you can see now, um, there are only changes to the code that Ava is making, and you can see how and what exactly um, Ava is uh, doing in the background. Uh, so it's quite exciting to see the inner working of Ava. And here we go. Okay, it is better. The ball is bigger, the pedal is bigger. There is definitely less of the bricks on top. And uh, if I remember, they are a bit bigger. Now, if at any point you don't like what Ava did, you can go back to history uh, where you can actually go back and revert to where you were. 
Um, so that is also a nice thing that if uh, sometimes uh, um, the output of these models are a bit unpredictable, uh, you can always revert to where you know that you were last happy with the results. Um, now I want to change uh, the graphical presentation of the bricks. And um, I can do this in multiple ways. I can upload a file from my computer. I can also quickly sketch it if you have good uh, artistic skills. As you can see, I don't. So I will skip that and also try to describe what kind of a paddle I want. And here I'm going to say, I want a neon sci-fi styled Arcanoid paddle image for my 2D game. I press imagine. And now Ava is generating us a um, few options for the paddle. Let's see how that turns out. Takes a little bit of time. And as you can uh, see from this uh, preview, there will be at least two versions of these assets um, for you to choose uh, which one you like. Uh, but don't worry, you can then also um, go further and, um, re and improve these images. But these are already looking good. Um, so let's see, how does this one look like? If I just click on it and play again, you can see that um, the image is uh, immediately changed here. However, I made a mistake. This is a brick asset, not the um, paddle asset. So I will just change it to something else and go back and actually go to the paddle one. And as you can see, we now actually share the library. So it's very convenient that you can then just with one click basically change the asset again and um, have your new paddle. I actually quite like this one. It looks almost like a little bit as a 3D. Um, so let's go back and actually fix our bricks. And here I will say a brick tile to the imagine that. And let's see if we get some bricks. Um, for our game. Besides uh, these uh, images, you can also generate sounds and music in a, in a similar fashion um, so that you can complete your game with both uh, visual and uh, sound effects. And let's see if we are getting some brick tiles. There are brick tiles, awesome. Okay, this already looks quite nice. I will just choose this one, looks the best for me. And voila, we have a pad that has our images and we have also bricks that are actual bricks. So this just, of course, a demo. Um, your imagination is the limit. And um, as I mentioned, the sound is pretty similar. You can describe the sound effects. Uh, you can also generate voice. Um, you can upload your, your own stuff and um, have it all running. Now, let's see why actually uh, we don't have any sound, of course. Let's say bricks falling apart. We will do one second and let's see if this creates something that we can use in our game. And while we wait, okay, here it is. Okay, I think this one is cool. And let's see it. If that is OK, 
cool. As you can hear, it's actually working. That is the hit, and then we have a break. Uh, similarly, you can also create music, um, and then your game is basically complete. Once you're happy with uh, your game, you can proceed to the publish screen. By default, your game is unlisted. That means that uh, no one will see your game unless you share it directly with your family and friends um, as a URL. Uh, but what we recommend is to put it publicly on Appit. And uh, when you select this option of public, you will have to choose your banner, which you can generate uh, using our tools. Um, so I will just select some images for the banner and also for the game icon and proceed to give it a name. Let's call it the brick game. And we publish this as, um, as a game on, on Appet. Um, so now that you go to discover and you go to the latest section, uh, you should be able to see your game. Uh, maybe needs a bit of time to, to show up, uh, but you can always go to your own profile and check the game here, play it, and enjoy. And that summarizes this little demo. Um, I hope this will help you create cool games and uh, make that everything that you always wanted to make. So uh, happy creation and I see you on Appet. Bye.